the bell icon to turn on notifications. Over the past few videos, we've looked at a Scrum Agile board. Over the next few videos, we'll be walking through very similar steps, but this time we'll be working with a Kanban board. Now, if you're not familiar with these terms, Scrum and Kanban, or the differences between them, we talked about these concepts, they're Agile concepts, and we talked about them in an earlier section. So check out that video if you want to learn more. But let's get started by creating a new Kanban board. So to do that, right now we're on our Your Work page. We need to go to the project where we want to create this. So let's come into Projects. And then over here on the left-hand side menu, we can come over to the Boards and Create a Board. So here we can choose if we want to create a Scrum board or if we want to create a Kanban board. And we want to do a Kanban board. Now we need to tell Jira what we want to be on this board at the point that we create it. What sort of issues do we want on this board when we create uh, when we create the board? So either we can have the board get created with a new software project. And we looked at this relatively similar of, um, aspect when we um, created a new project and then it created a board for us at the same time. So when you create a new project, it'll create a board or you can have it create a board and create a new project at the same time. End result is essentially the same. <laughs> it's just a matter of where you go to create it. If you're creating the project first and that creates the board or you're creating the board and it creates the project. Or we can tell Jira to create the board from an existing project. So create it on top of whatever existing elements or entities are in that project. Or we can tell Jira to create it from an existing saved filter. Now we haven't really looked or dove into filters yet, but we'll do that later on. Uh, but we can choose that option here. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and create this from an existing project. And let's give this a name. So this would be our sample Kanban board. Now we need to choose the project that we want to have the issues displayed. So we're choosing essentially here, if we choose the marketing team, what it's going to do is have all of the issues that are in the marketing team project displayed on this board. And then this here is telling Jira where the board actually lives. Now, the cool thing about this is we don't have to have just one project's issues showing up on this board. We could have, let's say we want some of that data that we created in an earlier video. So we could have multiple projects showing up on this board, even though the board is only living in a single project. It can only live in one project. And really the key there to, to keep in mind for where the location is, it's gonna be based on permissions. So who has permission to view the marketing team project? Well, they're also going to be able to see this board. So that's something to keep in mind when you're creating a board. And that's really all there is to it. Now we go ahead and create our board and Jira will go through the process of creating the board and filling it with the issues that are in the projects that we selected. All right, so now that we have our board created, let's go ahead and move on to our next video where we'll start to get familiar with what we're looking at here. In this video, we'll get an overview of a Kanban Agile board here in Jira. So this is what a Kanban board looks like in Jira. And let's just get familiar with what we're looking at here. So up here at the very top, we have the breadcrumb. So this is the location of the board itself. So we have the board, we can link to that. Uh, we have a link to the project that the board lives in. And then we also have the uh, link to all of our projects. So we can see all the projects and just kind of see where uh, this is located. And then we have the ability to search. So this is a quick filter for the issues on the board. So let's say we wanted to find anything that had the word owner in it. So we can see how this filters out very quickly any of the issues. So product owner, product owner, product owner. So we can very, very quickly uh, see the issues that we have on the board or the ones that are most important to us. And we have the ability to filter by assignee. So we can see just the issues that are assigned to me, Dan, or we can see just the issues that are assigned to Mary. Or the what cool thing about this is this is additive. So we can see just the issues that are assigned to Mary and Dan. So at the same time, so we can add uh, these different filters together to make them even more powerful, or maybe just the issues that are unassigned. Now, quick filters, that's what these are right here. And they work very similar to the uh, uh, these filters by assignee. 
but we can customize these. And we'll look at that in our next video, how we, how we can start to customize these. Uh, but what's really cool about these is we can go beyond just who they're assigned to. So like who the which issues are recently updated, which I believe recently updated. I'm going to check here. Don't worry. We're going to look at the board settings here in a second. But the recently updated means, yes, so updated in the last day. So in the last one day, um, something about that issue has been updated. So it looks like nothing has been updated in the last uh, day. So you can get an idea for how you can start to cust or cu really filter out the issues that you need based on what your organization's needs are. Over here on the right-hand side, we have automation. So we're going to look at the basics of automations more in the next section, but we do have access to uh, add some automation directly on the board here. We have the ability to star the board. So this is like favoriting or bookmarking something. Uh, think of it like uh, think of it like that. So if we were to star this up here under, so we can say under your work, we can see the boards. So you can see this board is under recent. Now, if I refresh, now it's starred. So basically it's, it's kind of pinning it to the top there so that it's always going to be accessible because the recent boards that we visit are going to be, of course, based on our activity. And if our organization has a lot of different agile boards, then the one that we're working on most or the few that we're working on most may not show up at the top. So we can always star that up there at the top or we can remove that if we want to. And you can see it's no longer starred and it's no longer starred over here. Now, over here, we have release. So because Kanban doesn't have sprints like Scrum, instead, Jira defaults to letting you create a new release, which we learned about earlier in this course. They are a way of organizing different versions together. So think of releasing version 1.0, version 2.0, version 3.0. All of the issues that are associated with that version can be grouped together into a release. It's just a nice way of organizing those. Think of it like putting those issues into a, a single folder and then you know organizing that that way. So when we were to, if we were to uh, create a release, basically what it would do is it would take all of these issues in the done column. Actually, let's just walk through this. I'll just show this. So this, let's say this is version 2.0. We can release it. And then you can see it's going to clear out the done column. And then over here under releases, ah, I know what's going on. So here, here's something to keep in mind with the location of the board versus the location of the issues. If we go back to the board here, notice that all of these issues that are on here are actually in a different project, even though the board is in the marketing team project. So what's happening is we released that, but it actually created the release in a different project. So we need to come in look at the project where it's located. And now we can see, okay, here's our version two release. These are the issues that are associated with that release. And we can see you know, some of the ones that were done that we added there. So that's, that's something to keep in mind when you're working with boards. Company managed projects can have issues from different boards or from different projects located on the same board. So that's something to keep in mind. But that's what the release does. Basically, it's going to clear out the done column and, and put those all, group those all together into a release. Next to release, we have share. So we can share this board with somebody else on our team. The only thing to keep in mind here is they have to have access to the Jira installation, but also have access to the project. So somebody who has access to this marketing team project, if you share it with them, they'll be able to see it. If you share it with somebody outside the organization or somebody even in the organization that doesn't have access to this project, then they won't be able to see this board, of course, because they won't have permissions to do that. And we looked at this very briefly. Uh, this is you know, the, the three dots where we can go in and go to the board settings. And we'll go into the more, more of the board settings uh, later on, but that's just where you can access that over there. Okay, so in this video, we got an overview of a Kanban Agile board, as well as a quick rundown of an example workflow, uh, releasing those issues and seeing where the release is. We also noticed that the release for a board in a different project, it's going to release those with the project where the issues are actually located instead of here in this project where the board is located. All right, so in our next video, we're going to go through some of the settings to see how we can start to customize our Kanban board. See you there.
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.